guys, good morning. Welcome back to Vlogmas day 24. I don't know what it is about this morning, but I'm definitely feeling a lot more Christmassy. It is also snowing outside quite a bit. So maybe that's it, but I don't know. I just feel like now I can be in the Christmas spirit. Like all week I was like, I was trying so hard to get in the Christmas spirit, but like now it feels like Christmas. Ew. Did you put anything else in this? Nope. Just frosty and cold milk. Yeah. Thank you. I'm not a huge coffee fan. But anyways, this morning got up, already edited yesterday's vlog. I did start on it last night, which helped a lot. And so we're getting that up right now. Hopefully my car is going to start today. If not, we're going to boost it. And then I need to go for a very long drive to charge the battery. Hopefully it won't die. It is supposed to warm up throughout this weekend. And we're supposed to be out of this brutally cold deep freeze. It's still cold right now, but it is supposed to warm up, warm up to minus 17 later today. So hopefully, but it, it's snowing pretty good. But otherwise I did rebook my appointment for today at 1130. Again, praying my car starts and then we need to do some quick few errands last minute Christmas preparations also our basil died if you guys saw hold on if you guys saw the last couple vlogs we went grocery shopping early and we went to go get um, some herbs for our dips and I think she froze outside and in the car ride home so the the dill kind of made it so that's that's good but the basil completely died so i don't know if we need to go get another one of those or what but that's pretty much the plan for today christmas preparations etc not a whole lot is happening today it's officially start of the holiday seasons i think our holiday season for us damon only works until 12 which is great and uh, yeah, then we can start the festivities. But of course, for our first festivity, always have to open the advent calendar. We only have two left. Wow, that's crazy. What? Okay, I wonder, ooh, I don't know if the last two are gonna be good. Let's see. All right, friends, today we got the sour grapefruit and blood orange candies. They are in the shapes of little mini oranges. Let's try the grapefruit one first. Here's a little citrus slice. All right. Yep. Very sour. I'm definitely grapefruity. All right, and now for the blood orange. I actually like the orange one better than the grapefruit. Kind of tastes a little bit like vitamins, like those chewable vitamins. For that, I'm gonna give them a six out of 10. Okay, by process of elimination, I'm pretty sure tomorrow's candy is going to be vegan cran apple hearts, which sounds pretty good. I feel like that's gonna be a good one to end off on, but definitely my favorite in here were the peach hearts, I would say, right off the top of my head. The cherry watermelon crush were also really good. And I think the sour rainbow bears were also another winner. Everything else, oh, the red roses were good, but everything else kinda just mediocre, I would say. So not a bad advent, advent calendar. I did enjoy trying out all of the new flavors of candies and stuff, but tomorrow will be the last day for it. Oh, is there, it's kind of hard to get in here. I have so many other things in the way. Okay, can you get it out? Cause I don't want to, I don't want to, okay, this we know what it is. You won't break anything. No, I just don't want to bring anything else out. Mars! Wow! <laughs> nice. Great, nice. Chocolates? Now you can put the heat Chocolates. Mars? Nice, thanks. Oh. Is that because I said there's no Mars bars in the... Yeah, you were set up with hot candy <laughs> Mars for Halloween. All right, I don't know if I can eat this many Mars. That's okay, I'll help you. Okay. All right, you guys, good news. The car started this morning. We had to jump it like a small amount with Damon's car, but it started almost like right away after we jumped it. So that's good. It's running outside right now for a little bit just to like warm up and then I'm going to go drive it <laughs> for a while so it can charge the battery and then I should be able to make it to my appointment on time, which is great news. So that's pretty much the update and yeah, I don't know. It's gonna be like a silent drive. So probably won't bring you along for that part, but we do have to run some errands after, which I will bring you along for. I almost forgot to get, bring you guys along to Walmart, but we're in Walmart looking for a couple of gifts for Damon's sister's boyfriend, if you're following me on that one. 
Um, we found this game, this board game. It's called Unlock, which looks really interesting. It's like mystery adventures, kind of like an escape room, but you need an app to play it. I don't know. I think you can only like probably like play each one like once before you kind of know. I don't know if it like reshuffles them and like you can play it multiple times like Clue or something. But yeah, I don't know. We're probably gonna have to go to a few other stores because I'm not really finding anything here. But that's pretty much the update. I don't know. We're trying to find them like a joint gift rather than just like a an individual gift. And then we also needed to pick up a few other things. I think we need to still go to the dollar store, the liquor store, and maybe chapters to see if there's like a different idea for a gift there. And I'm also super hungry, so eh, we might have to get food, even though in my last video, I just said we should probably stop spending money, but I did not eat breakfast or anything today, which was probably a poor decision. And now I am very hungry. Ended up getting some McDonald's or some chicken nuggets and some fries. It was like $5 for a meal deal, so. I'm going to quickly eat some of this and then we are going to head to the other stores. So I'll bring you along. All right, we're now in the Wendy's drive-thru because Damon wanted some Wendy's and it was too late to get McDonald's at Walmart. So pulling up to Wendy's with my McD's. Although we're going to have a French fry face off. Who has better fries? McDonald's or Wendy's? Comment down below. Can I have one more? Alright, Wendy's fry. I feel like this is an unfair taste test because yours are like super hot and mine are like getting cold now. I don't know. Right now I'm feeling the McDonald's fry is superior. But Wendy's has a good french fry. Alright. Comment down below, what is your top tier fast food french fry? Where's it from? All right, we came into the Asian grocery store to get some meat for our hot pot tonight. We are currently in the liquor store getting some drinks for this weekend. Ooh, what's this? All right, we need red wine for my mom and I don't know what to look at. I don't know. Probably not California. That's, that's probably bad. That's probably bad. All right, we've made our way back to chapter slash indigo. I've been here so much <laughs> in the last little while, but again, looking for some gift. Last minute gifts, very, very last minute. I don't think I've ever shopped this last minute. We're trying to find another like board game type thing, but I feel like there's really not a lot of options. I don't know, probably because we're shopping so last minute, but. All right, it's a lot later now, but I thought I would update you because we are making hot pot. So this is basically like, I would say like what? Chinese, Asian fondue. So basically it's like a soup base and then you like put vegetables and meat in it to like cook in the soup and then eat it. So we have some, whoa, some lovely prepped vegetables by Damon here. So we have some carrot, sweet potato, regular potato and mushrooms. We'll also do like broccoli. And anything else? Bok choy, some onion maybe, whatever vegetables you want, whatever you like, you can put in there. And then we bought the hot pot meat as you saw earlier. So it's like very thinly sliced. Definitely recommend getting like specific like hot pot meat for it because it does help like the cooking process. So yeah, so this is what it looks like. Just like little slices of beef and yeah. Also you can add whatever noodle you want. So I have udon noodles and Damon has these Japanese style glass noodles to try today. I'm a little worried you guys. I think we made the wrong move on the hot pot broth. We always get the one for the brand Little Sheep. Love that one. We always get like the spicy one. Super good. Tried and true favorite. Damon thought let's switch it up. A, that's always a bad idea. Never switch it up from what you know. But this one has a lot of like that Szechuan 
spiced in it, which is like really nummy, like numbed your tongue. And it smells kind of sweet. I don't know. I This is exactly what I thought it would smell like, actually. Like, mm, that's not going to be it. Because the last one we had, that was not the little lamb hot pot. It was exactly like this, and we did not like it. Anyways, I'll let you know, but these are all our toppings so far. And then here's the broth. You can see all of the spice and oil on the top. I don't know, shall be interesting. I do have my hair up in a little clip in preparation for soup, just cause I don't want it to get everywhere. I'm a little nervous though. I'm feeling a little skeptical. This is why I should just stick to that brand. But if you've never had hot pot before or you wanna like try making it at home, highly recommend the Little Sheep Hot Pot soup mix. I feel like it's, it's a very safe and a very good beginner broth and I feel like maybe we shouldn't stray too too far away from that one. All right, you guys, here's the update. I don't know, the hot pot wasn't bad. It was definitely very spicy though. Like my stomach is hurting a little bit. So we had some green tea, but I think I'm going to stick with my regular Little Sheep hot pot brand. Next time, it was all right switching it up, but again, it was so, so spicy with like the numbing spice that just like, it just makes your tongue feel not that great, but everything else was super good. And we just finished watching Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows part two. Love when the Harry Potter movies are on like a TV marathon. Yes, we have like the DVDs, we could watch them on that, but there's just something different about watching the movies on TV. But as you can probably hear in the background right now, the hockey game is on, so we're just going to watch that to finish off our night. So I'm going to end the vlog here. Thanks again for watching Vlogmas Day 24. Tomorrow is the last day of Vlogmas, so I really hope to see you in that vlog to end out our final Vlogmas vlog, and I'll see you in that one. Bye guys. Bye.